This money play is so annoying to lock up and unstoppable if you make the right adjustments. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to talk about uh, a money play, and the, na the name of the play is called Posts. Now, there are two different variations of Posts. We're going to look at one of the variations, uh, and it is actually in uh, four different uh, playbooks, or actually five different playbooks uh, that you can pick up uh, in the game. Uh, in particular, it is going to be the Panthers, the Patriots, the Cardinals, the playbook I'm in right now, and the spread. Uh, and I want you to take a look at these particular uh, images. Uh, this particular play is extremely difficult to stop. Um, and if you're not using this play in your playbook and you're running a custom playbook because you're playing regs, you have to throw this scheme into your play uh, playbook and have to use this play because you could use this play all game. You really could do it. I strongly oppose, I, I, I don't recommend um, and people actually using this play all game, um, but because of the flexibility and the ability to make adjustments, I'm going to show you multiple different ways to break down against defenses. This is going to be maybe um, a two-parter or a three-parter against a different type of defensive shells and how you can destroy your opponent with it. So let's go and jump into this right now. All right, so guys, uh, basically the play is post. It's the one right here, uh, and this is going to be the base play we'll call out of this. Now, I'm going to run this against cover three and cover two, and I'm probably going to go ahead and jump into some meta blitzes and some meta meta plays for a third part uh, a series, but I want to just go ahead and focus on the shells. So we're going to run basic cover three shells and go from there. All right, so with the signature play, uh, basically you can run it stock. I'm going to show you four different variations of running this particular play where you can actually effectively beat your opponent with it. Uh, but let's just go ahead and run it stock couple times. Uh, the ideal thing is that you want to have your most athletic tight end, your best tight end on the left side. So it'd be a tight end number two in this in this position or flipping your tight end. And then conversely, your running back, you want to have a, a, an athletic running back that can catch because your running back is going to be a part of the passing scheme. And then the other routes are essentially going to open up based off the scheme. Uh, the corner route with the, with the tight end on the right hand side, that's basically a, a, a route that actually will pull zones away, but it will be open to us in, in a couple of different types of occasions. Now, if you run this play stock against cover three, if your opponent's running a lot of cover three, uh, the first area of the field you're going to look at, look to is going to be off the left-hand side. It's between Seals and Jones. Or, I'm sorry, Seal Jones and Kirk. Uh, you're going to look high-low, and if the defender does not fall down uh, to the uh, the sideline or to the uh, the flat route, basically you're going to be able to go and attack that corner route. Now, what's cool about that is that it's really going to be very harassing to your opponent. So right right now, I'm actually picking up a good five, uh, you know, ten yards, fifteen yards right there. He's going to be very frustrated with that, and he's going to have to start making adjustments uh, against this type of uh, elite. So look at us. I'm picking up eight yards right here. He's he's having a hard time with it. Now, a lot of times what people will do is actually go ahead and uh, uh, put some type of coverage, and that's where the halfback angle route is going to come into play. Now, that's going to be in the middle of the field, and most Madden players, at least smart ones, play the middle of the field and try to take away the middle of the field and any kind of crossing routes. So, But you've got this little check down route by the running back that you can go and hit. So if you're attacking your opponent on the sidelines, you've got him um, with the flat route, you've got him with the corner route, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to stop that. He's going to have to start making man Manual adjustments to lock, to lock up this particular play if he's going to stay in that cover three shell. So that's where things get really, really interesting. And obviously, you've got this backside uh, route by the running back. Another opportunity, too, is going to be that deep post route. So if he starts playing down low, you've got this deep post route that you can actually attack your opponent with and get a good 20 yard plus gainer on that. So that's what makes this place pretty cool is that you can run at stock, attack the left side of the field, he's going to have a hard time with it. Now, naturally, most opponents are going to start picking up on tendencies. So there's ways that actually you can go ahead and, and, and have a little fun with them. So uh, one of the things you want to do is we could do the Casey Corner um, uh, basically uh, setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak up Seals Jones. And we're going to take uh, Fitzgerald and actually put him uh, in an in route. So Kirk's route is going to clear out the zone. So is uh, Seals Jones. If the defender does not float up to Seals Jones, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for Fitzgerald over the middle, and then we also have the running back route underneath. So we'll look to the seam first, uh, and then actually look to the area with Fitzgerald. Now, if you want to go ahead and make this play a little bit more effective, maybe you don't like having that running back in the area, we can go ahead and put the running back in a quick out, or we can block it if our pers person's hitting us with a lot of heat. So we're going to go ahead and streak up uh, Seals Jones. We're going to do a little in route. 
You've got a, uh, you've got a corner route. Uh, one of the areas you want to hit right there is with the seam. Now, that, not only is it the seam route is going to be your first read if you make this the second adjustment, which is going to be a KC corner. Uh, but also, uh, it's going to be it's going to clear out the area for Fitzgerald underneath. So let's just see. Nobody actually. If I was going to wait, uh, I would actually go ahead and hit that seam right away, force my opponent to defend that seam, uh, and then I've got the actual uh, the, the in route by by Fitzgerald. So we're, we're blocking the running back right now. We could play around with the running back a little bit, but if you can see right here. That area gets cleared out. I'm actually going to pick up another 10 yards. Now, if he's actually taking his guys, he's flooding the zones. He's putting three zones off the left-hand side to take away the flat route, the corner route, and actually going ahead to take away the deep, deep route. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and use uh, this uh, KC uh, corner concept uh, that I've showed to you on my channel before to go and clear out uh, different areas of the zone. So that's what's actually cool about this particular play is that you have the ability to go ahead and make that quick adjustment. And those are three quick adjustments. And, and I'm just uh, actually blocking my running back to go ahead and give myself a little bit more time if that's the case. So let's go and see right here. The zone's getting cleared out. And we're just going to go drop it down right in the middle of the field uh, with an area of the field that probably he can't defend. Now, here's another thing that you can do against your opponent if he's running a lot of cover three. Uh, and it's basically trying to hit the middle of the field or off the, to the right-hand side. So he's going to be very conscious on the left uh, on the left hand side because of the flat corner and the deep post. So what we want to do is maybe go ahead and uh, adjust things up a little bit. Now, here's, here's one thing that's really, really cool about this play. If you get the time, and I'm actually running against one of the best defenses in the game, and I've got a really crappy offensive line, um, the running back will actually, against cover three shells, will get open. And he will actually get open down the field for a 20-yard gainer. So you could definitely set your opponent up with this big of the route because it's not going to be an area of the field that is used to defending. So we're going to take Seals Jones, our, our, our number two wide receiver, our number two tight end, put him on a flat route. I've got a corner route by Grisham. And then I've got Jones, or Johnson, actually going on a streak. First area of the field you want to go and look to is going to be that little flat. You want to get the opponent to defend that backside area, especially if he starts cheating off to the right side. Uh, if he is concerned about that flat area. So uh, this is actually going to open up. But here, this is where things actually get. You see it right there. He's, he was wide open. I got a block shed against me. Let's see if we can get this off uh, against the CPU. I'm going to have block sheds, but watch. Running back is wide open, and I actually got a good 20-yard gainer against uh, the coverage. The reason why is that against cover three, this deep corner route actually has to get played by the deep zone. See how this guy is in a cover three, and he follows that deep zone. He splits, but he still keeps following. Those are new fundamentals of the man, man and uh, the defensive uh, assignments, is those deep zones have to follow those corner routes, leaving this guy over the middle for a good 20-yard gainer. So if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover three shells, you're in a third and long type of situation, you've been attacking him with this play actually off to the left-hand side, you can go and flip it to the other side and really go ahead and catch him off guard and actually catch him for a good 20-yard gainer now it's a tight pass I will tell you it's a tight pass so you're not going to be able to get this off on a regular basis uh, but that that assignment is actually to get pulled away and he's not going to be used to going ahead and, ta and and defending the running back on a fly route so you can definitely pop your opponent maybe once maybe twice with this for a nice 20 yard gainer and something to break out and a, and a long uh, down and distance if your opponent's not using a lot of heavy pressure against you once again, we're going to set this up. Now, what's also really cool about this, too, is that you have that deep-sided post that you can attack your opponent with on the backhand side. Drag up Seals Jones. We're going to go ahead and take uh, Johnson and put him on a, uh, on a fly route. And now you've got this deep post rod on the backhand side that you can go ahead and keep them guessing. So that's just another way you can attack your opponent with this particular concept. So that's basically running at stock, doing the Casey concept, which essentially is streaking up uh, and actually going ahead and taking Fitzgerald and putting him in an in route. Uh, another concept that we can do is we can actually go ahead and take Johnson and put him in an out route. And what this is going to do is it's going to force the, the CPU to make a decision whether they're going to go ahead and defend the flat of the running back or if they're going to go ahead and defend the deep corner. So what's going to happen right here is it's going to allow you to go ahead and attack your opponent once again in a flat route. Now, this is going to be a, a particular route that you want to throw into the scheme just to go ahead and keep your opponent honest. Uh, but it's not going to be a, a route that... Uh, is going to 
really go ahead and destroy your opponent. But what it's going to do is it's going to open up this deep corner route if the defender actually comes down. So that's what I like about this particular a little quick little out route. It does get pretty easy separation, but it's going to open up this corner route on the back end side. And that we're not focusing on the corner route. We got all that action going off the left. We're not doing anything off the right. But if you want to go ahead and keep your opponent honest, it's just go ahead and just you can streak. The, just go ahead and hit that that corner route because those guys are going to pull off. So, with that said, guys, this is a really good play to go and jump into. You can run it stock. You can run uh, run it uh, as a Casey corner, like so, uh, and basically attack your opponent either the seam or off the left. Uh, you can run uh, this particular play where you're actually dragging up uh, your uh, your uh, backside tight end and actually going ahead and taking your running back for that big play opportunity off to, off to uh, over the middle. And then obviously what you can do is you can just go ahead and run this where you're actually going ahead and attacking your opponent off to, uh, to the right hand side with the high low. And this will actually open up that corner route that you actually can pick up some pretty good yards. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. If you like these type of tips and these breakdowns where you break where I break down plays in multiple different ways, make sure you hit that uh, like button. Uh, and uh, once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support. And until next time.